repitching the axial fan blades on a sook-up fan. If you have a 44-inch, 15-horsepower sook-up fan motor that is pulling too many amps, you'll first want to verify that you've checked the incoming voltage, all the wire connections, and the motor bearings. If that motor is still drawing too many amps, you may need to depitch the fan blade using the following procedure. In most cases, for every two degree change in blade pitch, you should see approximately an eight to 10 amp drop in amperage drawn. Today we're gonna to go through the steps to remove and reinstall Trantorque bushing installed fan blade. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is remove the screen. We've done that already here. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make some marks. Either, either take note of where that bushing is on the shaft or possibly mark where the blades are in the housing. So you can get it back in the proper fore and aft direction. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to need is a backup wrench and something for it to contact. So in this case, I'm gonna install, install this wrench and that's gonna be our backup. So that when we're removing the outer nut, we have something to lock it onto. And then you're gonna need a large wrench and then at that point, you're gonna remove that fan blade, take that bushing loose. Once that's done, you wanna loosen that nut and pull the fan blade off. The procedure is basically removing the bolts from the hub and lifting each fan blade out of the hub, exposing the pitch inserts. The blades on this assembly currently have 24 degree inserts and we will be replacing them with 20 degree inserts. If you look closely at the inserts you will see the markings that identify the pitch achieved once installed. The long line here is the pitch indication and each short line you see represents one degree. Here are some important tips and things to remember. The blades come balanced from the factory. In order to maintain the balance point, follow these instructions. Use a center support to keep the blade flat and still allow you access to the nuts on the underside of the hub. Before you remove any bolts, use a permanent marker and make a guideline that will ensure you get the hub back together exactly as you found it. Then make sure you identify any bolts with multiple washers. The washers are how the blade was balanced, so everything needs to go back to the exact orientation and location after you replace the new pitch inserts. You should also number each blade and its corresponding location on the hub. When everything is marked, you're ready to start removing the bolts. Remember the outer hub bolts are removed first, and as each bolt is removed, note what hole it was removed from, and how many washers were installed on the top side of the hub and how many were installed on the underside of the hub. You should also slip the nut back on each bolt as it is removed to keep them together. The outer bolts and inner bolts are identical. Do not mix them together. You should also set the bolts aside in the exact order that they were removed. However you decide to keep track of all the bolts, the goal is the same. Put everything back exactly the way it was when you began. With bolts all removed, use a flathead screwdriver to pry the hub apart. Lift it up and remove the lower half. Then flip the blade over and return it to your center support. Now gently pry each blade out of the hub. Flip the blade over and you will see the pitch insert. Remove the insert and set it aside away from the new replacement inserts. The inserts may fall out when you lift the blade. They are not supported other than the cutout in the blade itself. Install the new inserts one at a time and make sure the markings on each insert are showing when you press it back into position, then place each blade back onto the hub. There is a small groove in the bottom of the hub where the tab on the insert fits. Do this for every blade and you're ready to put it all back together. After aligning the top and bottom sections of the hub using your marks, go ahead and finger tighten the outer ring of bolts. After the outer ring of bolts have been hand tightened, use a torque wrench set to 14 foot-pounds of torque as called for in service bulletin L2477, then tighten the bolts. 
start with the outer ring and alternate back and forth across the hub the same way you would tighten bolts when you change a flat tire. Put the hub cover on and align your markings. Repeat the process for the inner ring of bolts and you're finished. And to reinstall the blade, you want to re reposition your block of wood or pipe so it's going to contact in the other direction. You're going to want to make sure that those blades mark or line up to where your marks were before or if you marked on the on the motor shaft or took a measurement you'll also want to do that. The other thing you may want to do is mark the front side of the blade just so you know you're installing it in the right direction so that trans torque bushing <coughs> wedge shape goes in the right spot. Then you'll want to use the chart in your book and set your torque wrench to the proper value and then tighten that blade until it's reinstalled. The final step you'll want to do a couple things is once it's installed go ahead and look for these huck bolts. Go ahead and flex that blade out make sure it's going to clear that huck bolt. Last thing you want to do is fire this up have that blade hitting those huck bolts and tearing up the tips. <clears throat> Once you have it installed and torqued, you're going to want to reinstall the screen and then run the blade, run the fan for at least one minute, then remove the screen and recheck your torque setting. And then you're done reinstalling the blade.